Hello, Library Foundation. My name is Anand Palagar, and it's an honor to be in front of you today to present an idea that we've had uh, with respect to the brand and as we're moving forward through this engagement. For those of you that don't know, um, I'm the founder of Dream Large. We're a collective of change makers, and we were one of the first registered benefit corporations on the Gulf Coast of Florida. What we essentially exist to do is to drive purpose-driven brands. We look for opportunities to create experiential connections between the brands we, we create and represent and the community as a whole, and es essentially use that platform to drive impact and outcomes that align with an organization's mission. Some of the brands we're probably best known for include The Bay, um, the Bay Park Conservancy, which is the 53-acre park that's under development on the Sarasota Bayfront, Pink, which is a day-long experience that takes place every December in Sarasota, May in the Netherlands, and will hopefully be back again in 2021, and All Faiths Food Bank, which I'm sure you are all fully aware of, have probably seen their trucks driving around. When we look at brands, we look at them more than just logos. These aren't just logos. They're essentially emotive assets or, or platforms that the brands are built upon. And if you think about them and look at these on a page, they're very simplistic. However, the sophistication is in how they get executed. For us, what we look to do is to move an emotional sentiment through these brands and essentially as a patron or a customer experiences them, the real brand unfolds over time and touch points. And the more that you see them, the more they get cemented into your brand psyche. How? Let me explain. So this is the Bay, and as the Bay is a conceptual project at this point in time, by extending this logo and this brand into a physical space, we're able to kind of move the public into the conversation and help them understand what a 53-acre park could potentially do for this community as a whole. For All Faith Food Bank, we not only redesigned their logo and extended it into several assets, but we also redesigned their building. And this was, again, an extension of their brand, driving the touch point of being on their physical site and showcasing what their mission and ethos was through a tangible physical asset in this case which was a warehouse originally designed to be a warehouse to store food that came in and to serve as a sort facility we also put it into collateral and as you've seen probably on the road that collateral is, has made itself onto trucks and any number of different assets to help them really define their mission which is to end hunger and then last but not least, pink. Pink is an experience that is very multi-sensory and unfolds over the course of a day, um, but ultimately results in a, an emotional arc that a attendee goes through, um, and in this case, ended up dancing on stage. So why is that relevant to the Library Foundation? Over the past few weeks, we've been working very closely with your team in particular with Alyssa and Kat, in helping develop and shape a story and narrative around what the future trajectory of the organization will look like and what the assets are needed to execute that. In that journey of discovery, one thing we very quickly realized is that as a brand, there was a misfit between where it presently is and what it currently looks like and what the future aspirational objectives were. If you think about it from a bigger sense of view, we just see this as a tremendous opportunity to catalyze a new brand on the cusp of your 10 year anniversary, something that's gonna help advance the dialogue and advance the community's perception of what it is that you're aiming to do and essentially drive them forward with you in unison. If you think about libraries of yesterday, the real objectives, the three primary objectives were to promote reading offer access to information, and they served as an anchor in communities. They would essentially be a physical asset for a community to essentially gather around. And that's where a lot of campaigns and movements have started is actually in libraries. So when you contrast that with today and where libraries systems are going, 
it really is about fostering social connection, especially now with an aging demographic in a post-COVID world, driving education. Many folks use it to find employment opportunities, and as well as all of the technology stack the libraries have made available to those who are less fortunate and helped us close out that digital divide. So when we think about the brand, for us, the brand is everything that people say about you when you're not in the room. And what we saw is an opportunity to take what you've already developed and build upon it in a more sophisticated, timeless, modern and adaptable way. This was really important for us because essentially what we needed to do is move people from where they are today in terms of how they view the Library Foundation or libraries as a whole and move them forward into the future. And what we saw is an opportunity to use some of the prior design of the logo to advance that narrative. So we started with the book and the book was essentially a starting point, and I think it's something that's very familiar to libraries. And what we decided to do was to really look at what does the future of this platform represent as an asset in the brand. And one thing we distilled out is that the book is essentially a picture frame. It's a frame to look forward into what the libraries of tomorrow look like. It's also in some ways a conversational bubble because a lot of what's happening is the dialogue and conversation about what libraries represent is shifting. And I think there's a huge opportunity to create awareness and cultivate recognition about how libraries are forging communities forward in this moment in time. So we really started to, to convey that as a speech bubble. And in our design, one thing we identified is that there's a juxtaposition between what it used to be and what it could represent in the future and how do we leverage this brand in a way that allows us to foster not only a conversation around it but also serve as a visual asset that achieves our objective of a sophisticated evolving modern and adaptable brand mark that can move through the organization and be leveraged in different touch points over time. So we pulled your colors, the existing colors, and decided to use that as a first baseline to build upon and essentially extended that out. This, what you're seeing here is our first drafts. And what we aligned around was a primary color palette for a few different reasons. Primary colors are recognized universally, regardless of ethnicity, culture, or background. And they essentially serve as a unifying voice. You see a lot of great brands. Google's a fantastic example that uses primary colors and its brand to really showcase its accessibility in organizing the world's information. And after much sketching, revisions, and um, iterations on what I just showed you, we came up with a final look and feel that we wanted to present. And what this represents is really the juxtaposition of the evolution of libraries being a platform for going and finding books and researching to the future, which is where they initiate a conversation and change and shape communities in a very positive way. We came up with a series of, of mock-ups here to kind of illustrate and demonstrate what this actually could look like in an execution format. And that's what you're seeing here in a series of uh, different treatments. Again, holding the colors consistent, not trying to reinvent the palette, but really adapting it for a future outlook that is tomorrow. Here's an example of it being applied to a flyer for a conversation series, an upcoming conversation series. And what you'll see here is kind of how that mark becomes not only a very patterned backdrop for the brand, but also serves to really frame what's happening here here applied to a bag. And then when you think about advertising and getting the message out, it really helps showcase what libraries look like in the future. And we can use that aperture of the book as a frame to essentially showcase not only a message, but also a visual that really reinforces that message. The last thing I wanted to show you is kind of a mood board that, it, that basically identifies the colors, and I'm going to spend a moment to talk through this. 
we decided to choose a serif font for uh, a usage on the site. Serifs are traditionally kind of, if you look back in time, associated with the Gutenberg press and onwards, and many people would associate them with libraries. They're making a comeback, and they're also very much a juxtaposition between the modern font and the brand as a whole, which doesn't use a serif. So we're really using a serif font to really drive home the history, the foundational bedrock of what libraries represent in communities, and modernizing it and moving it forward with visuals and the sans serif fonts. We're also using a color palette that's really open and adaptable to the various needs of the foundation over time whether it be events, whether it be speaker series, whether it be potentially extending it out even further. But having that opportunity or the ability to basically leverage different color palettes across different initiatives creates a key with which to brand the library looking forward, the library foundation looking forward. So in summary, this is the evolution we'd like to present. This is our best foot forward to creating a platform that we believe could represent the future of the Library Foundation, in addition to the website and the collateral that's being developed. And the reason that we wanted to share this with you now is that we believe that today is the moment in time where we need to do this in advancing the website and bringing the community forward along for that conversation. We fundamentally believe that this is the platform, the brand platform that can be built upon and extrapolated out for years to come. I want to thank you for your time today, and I hope you'll take a moment to review it, and please get back to us with your thoughts. And I hope if there are any questions that arise, we'll have the opportunity to answer them and move forward from there. From all of us at Dream Large, thank you very much.